Am I ready? No. I'm gonna watch anyway? Yes. Someone sent me a picture of that exact scene, what it looked like in the manga. Damn, the anime did a good job. I'm mentally preparing myself. Sorry, guys. I say something new every time. Well, because of you guys. Yeah, I'm killing them. As long as you're having fun, you know? He should have just killed him. But then he thought about bringing Erwin back to life and that cost him. That moment was so big, it was so everything, and then he hesitated. Hanji-san no itta tori da! Yappari chou ogata kyojin wa shoumou sen ni yowai! Satsen ga aru! Minna de Raina o hiki tsukete kure! Beltorto wa boku to Eren de taosu! Raina wa watashi tachi ni makasete!本当にもうダメかと思ったぞ。俺は自由を取り返すためなら力が湧いてくるんだ。この作戦がうまくいけば僕はもう海を見には行けないな。エレンを起きろ。海を見に行くよ。Thinking about sacrificing himself, it said a world beyond our wildest dream extends outside the walls. It has fiery waters, lands of ice, 
sandy snow fields and a soft water lake called the sea that stretches far past the horizon. Some have joined the scavenger movement to fight solely because seeing it is their dream. Fiery waters, lands of ice, sandy snow fields and a salt water lake called the sea. Oh, that sounds so beautiful. I think part of what makes me love Attack on Titan so much is because I feel like when when they're fighting for their freedom, it feels like I'm fighting there with them for my own freedom. I don't think it's something most people can understand until they've had their freedom taken away from them, even to a small extent. And there's a lot more I can say on that subject, but I won't right now. <laughs> Horse. These chumps. We'll deal with these chumps quickly. Kill them off. そんなボロボロになった<笑> Is this part of the plan? おそらくは柔道の脳震盪まだまともに立ち上がることもできないようだねまだまともに立ち上がることもできないようだね。This is part of the plan. My boy, Armin! Armin. Kiyagare. ライナーの口の中から牛を狙え。そっちは空いてない。なぜだ。アルミンを吹き飛ばせない。なぜアンカーが外れないんだ。そして何より熱を放っている間は筋肉を動かせない。けどアルミン。これ以上はもう。いや
り返さないから舐められる負けっぱなしでいいのか僕は逃げてないお前名前は Look at the little babies They're so cute お前が伝えるに勇敢なことぐらい Are you fucking kidding me? He's burnt to a crisp This song was on purpose This song was on purpose They made There's no way this is real. There's no way. There's no way they take two characters from us. And Levi mentioned the Titan juice that he still has. There's no way they take two and they're still that and, and they don't use it. Finding resolve, Erin and the others defeat their enemies, and I hate these fucking red eyes. I don't understand them. And I hate this thing's mouth, and I hate the fact that it can speak like that. <laughs> what they lost cost more than what they won. So they, don't tell me this is for real, for real. And this guy's not going to give a fuck about Berthold's life. You can't, you can't hold him for ransom. this and he's giving him the titan juice you see this is the archie guy that survived who's this oh ervin oh it is ervin because look it's his side are they gonna give the titan juice to ervin or is this why would they put this here or are they gonna give it armin is lying there too they're gonna give it to one or the other there's only one that can live and th that person's gonna eat Berthold because that guy didn't give a fuck about Berthold's life. He went. It's gonna be either Erwin or Armin that's gonna come back to life. But how are you burnt to a crisp and still clinging to life at all? I feel like Erwin has more of a chance to survive this, but, but this is too, they're making this too obvious, so it's making me think like the other side. The despair alone has left them stunned. Oh, that's why Levi was angry at them in that one remember in that in the end of season 3 part 1 that ending is that why he was mad at them because Aaron chose Armin over Erwin fuck yuck Shit, one of them is coming back to life. That's what I think. Levi mentioned it. And we just got an image of Levi handing it to, to Aaron. But why would he hand it to Aaron? But we saw them both there. It could be either fucking one. I think maybe they gave, they gave both of them like this heroic final blaze of glory and now they could possibly bring one back <sighs> excuse me for yawning my best bet would be if Aaron is the one holding the injection it's gonna be Armin and also for the just for the fact that he's been Armin has been Armin since fucking season one we haven't lost one of the main three we lost Aaron and then Aaron came back now we lost Armin and I'm if I had to have one guess it would be that um Armin is coming back. That's that could be why they end up fighting, and then Levi chooses to fight them for it. And then no, what if the Titan Juice amidst the fight it crashes and breaks, and then fucking boom, anticlimax. No one gets back to life, comes back to life. I just can't see how Armin can still be alive at at all after that clinging. But I mean, I've seen people suffer, you know, come, come out of fires, scorch and still clinging to life. Not obviously in real life, but I've, I've seen stuff like that in movies. I don't know how, how real it is.
moments like these make me really, really grateful for the fact that I, I've decided to turn off the comments um, because I know that there will be people, if I didn't turn off the comments, I know that there will be people commenting on the video, hinting at, at whether I'm right or whether I'm wrong or, or whatever. And, and I'm not stupid. Like it would, if, like I said before, if five people hint five different things and they all think they're being so mysterious, so as what, that's just, a, there's not a spoiler. It's just a hint. Da, da, da. If five people do that, then it's not that hard to figure it out. So I'm, I'm very grateful for the fact that uh, so many of you have decide, chosen to support me in the fact that I've, I've decided to turn off my comments, um, at least until a little bit later this season. Amazing. It's only four episodes in. It doesn't feel, it, it doesn't feel that way. But then again, it is technically the second part of season three, so it makes sense. As I said before, I'm not focusing on uh, reviewing the season at the moment. As you guys know, uh, I started watching Attack on Titan about a year ago. With season one, I didn't even do reviews for every single episode. I just um, did, I did a, re a reaction to the first episode and then I asked for like the most request, like which episodes would you like to see reactions to? At the time, I was just starting out my channel, so it was a very different setup. I didn't really understand how reactions work. Uh, I intended to do reviews only and people requested reactions. So that's why with season one, there's only reactions to specific episodes. Um, season two, I started doing every episode, uh, same for season three. And then at some point I started rewatching season one because that's when I started getting really obsessed with the anime. Um, but I started getting a little bit overwhelmed with the amount of videos that I was doing for my channel and trying to rewatch season one and doing my notes. Um, so yeah, for this season, I am just focusing on enjoying the story, uh, soaking in that. And then when season three, part two is over, we ought to get a little break before season four starts. So in that time, I will be rewatching season one to three, completing my notes and making a, uh, a video on, you know, my, my review on like these three seasons, these three seasons and all my thoughts, all my notes, all kind of, kind of theories I've maybe come up with as I go along, but it'll be one video after rewatching everything and, and then I'll make my notes available for everyone to read um, and then only then will I start reading the manga and then I'll start from the beginning and I, I, I don't think I ever would I wouldn't read past where the anime ends so because um, I still want to kind of go in blind to the anime I just really like that's how I've always done things actually I always I watch anime first and then the anime usually ends in a way that it's not like no that's not enough and then i go back and then i go and read the, the manga that's how it's always worked for me um so yeah i enjoy that i'm used to that and that's what i'll keep doing but a big thank you to everyone who watched this video with me this episode uh a big thank you to my patrons who get the episodes early and um get to see the full reaction thank you guys for choosing to support me i hope that the rewards are worth it and to everyone on YouTube, I really appreciate the uh, amount of likes the last video got and the, even the video before that. I know it got a lot of dislikes as well because a lot of people aren't happy with me turning off comments, but honestly, it's been such a weight off my shoulders. Uh, someone commented earlier and was like, why don't you just not read the comments or not read the rude comments or something, something. And I was like, oh, wow, I didn't think of that. Thank you, problem solved that's not how it works um there's no point in putting uh, making the comments available on my channel and uh the, what i appreciate about anime is that we get to talk about it and and just telling me not to care about what people are saying it's easier said than done and um the are kind of the arguments that go on in the comments and all that negativity i just wanna i don't think this anime deserves that like i decided to just turn it off and just in kind of set the example that I want other people uh, to follow, like enjoy the story, like just enjoy it for now before you start arguing about who's right and who's wrong. Maybe just, maybe just have your experience for the first time and then we can talk about it. You know, I don't know, I'm overthinking it, but 
it's taken a weight off my shoulders and I, I'm grateful that you guys support that decision until um, the end of the season. Uh, and for those of you that, that are on my Discord and that have chatted to me there, to be honest, there's not much more to talk about. When, when you have a different opinion than someone else, often it is, it's just really impossible to convince anyone of your opinion. You're not supposed to want to do that. Um, because if someone else believes, like how it sounds like to me, if someone else believes that, oh, how can I say this? I can only give examples from Dororo, for example, the anime. If someone believes like, it's okay to sacrifice 32 orphans to save our whole town. If, if someone believes that is ethically correct, you, you can't really argue with them because they think it's, they think, you know, 32 lives to save 100 lives is fair. If they think that, there's no way you can you can change their mind because that's how they were raised to believe then and like i'm not saying there's no point in having discussions but about certain things that it's it there literally is no point in having discussions because the more you say what why you think it's wrong the more they'll build up build up resistance to what you're saying and the fact is that they until they are one of the 32 people being sacrificed for a hundred other people's lives. Like in Dororo, if, if you're the th one of the 32 people being sacrificed to a demon for that demon to protect a hundred other lives, I mean, there's much more uh, to this conversation. Obviously, I'm, I'm simplifying it. But until you're one of those 32 being sacrificed, of course you'll understand that 32 lives are, are not as valuable as 150 lives or whatever the number is until you're that one person being sacrificed for a hundred other lives even though you did nothing wrong you weren't you weren't convinced that person but that's just my opinion thank you guys for um, being here for watching with me thank you for hearing out my thoughts uh, please don't think that i am not encouraging discussion i am it's just that for now, this is enough for me. I just want to give my honest feelings on the anime and what is happening without feeling like at the same time I need to defend my opinions, which is technically what I'm doing right now. So let's leave it at that. Uh, really looking forward to the next episode. I'll see you guys in the next video.